G'day everyone. Today in this video, we're going to be going over auto scaling titles. Now these allow you to bind together text to different title elements such as shapes or images so that the shape or image will move based on how much text you type. So for an example here, if I select this text here and I remove some of the text content, you can see that the background image is being scaled down to how much text is available in that title. This is a new feature that has become available in the GT Title Designer since vMix 23. And we've named it Bounding. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how to use this feature. So first of all, we're going to create a new GT title. So first of all, I'm going to create a rectangle. Then I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to bind this rectangle to this text box here. Then I'm gonna go into the settings for the text and select width and height. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle, go into format, and then go to this section called bounding. Now you notice this drop down menu here when you click on it, and then I can set to bind the text and a rectangle together. So as you can see now, the text is now bound to this rectangle area. So when I type, it's going to, to move. Now you might be thinking, well, that's great, but it doesn't particularly look that good. So I wanna be able to add some padding around it. So what you'll need to do is go back to the rectangle here and then add some padding to it. So we're going to select some padding around the rectangle. Okay, so now we have some text and we actually have some padding around it. So when we type, it will move and keep that padding around the text. So that's how you can create bounding with a rectangle and text. Now another thing that you can do, you might really not want a red rectangle. So what you can do is you can edit the fill and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a gradient. So we can actually build a gradient and have it move based on how much text is in it. So let's go with the green here and we'll apply that. Okay, so now we've got a gradient and this will actually move based on how much text. So as you can see now, the gradient is actually moving as we add text. So that's pretty cool if you want to add a rainbow type effect to a title or to something that you want to add in your production. All right, so now I'm just going to save this and show you how to add it into vMix. Let's just call it bounding two because I'm bound to have to do this tutorial over and over again because I keep making mistakes as you do. All right, so now we're going back to uh, vMix here. We go to add input, we go to the title section. Now, as you might've seen in previous tutorials, if you've been working and saving on a GT title in the title designer, it will actually appear in recent here. So I can select it here, or I could go to browse and find it. So I'm just going to select it here, click okay. And then I'm going to add it to the production. Now, as you can see, when I add more text to it, it's now going to Move. So that was a quick example of how you can create auto scaling titles using the bounding feature in the GT title designer. You can also try it with other title elements such as images if you wanted to, but feel free to play around with it and see what you can come up with. If you do have any questions about vMix or the GT title designer, please send us an email via the support page on vMix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.